Hello everyone, this is the uh, Shadowbird reporting live, well, recorded anyway, from uh, Salem, Oregon. And uh, for my geeky friends out there, I have an announcement that will make you as excited about it as I am. For those of you who aren't so geeky, you're probably not going to have any freaking clue why this excites us, but just, hang on a second. Um, how shall I put this? Um, I will use the words of Obi-Wan Kenobi from uh, Star Wars, which is to say, uh, I have taken my first step into a larger world, although technically it's my second step into a larger world, because, well, my first in this case was that actually making my character. The second? Well, gentlemen, behold! I have dice! Or, for those of you who are more video game nerds, I got some dice! Yes, I have a uh, general purpose uh, tabletop dice. Um, they're referred to as a uh, stealth kind. Um, they are dark blue with uh, black specks, because you know, black, a couple of my favorite colors. Uh, white numbering, very easy to read. Uh, they are rounded edges, so uh, <laughs> they're not going to be quite as accurate as sharp edges, but they won't cut my hands to bits. Uh, very, you know, very simple form, form of dice set. Uh, again, very general purpose, which is good because my character is Pathfinder, and uh, though it could also be adapted to uh, Dungeons and Dragons 3.5 rules, probably very easily. Uh, let's go through here and look at the uh, individual creations. Should, uh, see what all we've got here. Of course, we have the uh, classic archetypal D20. Icosahedral die. I love saying that. Icosahedral. That's like my favorite polygon, the Icosahedral, or polyhedron, rather. The Icosahedral. Just because it's fun to say. Uh, and of course, we have the uh, eight sided die, or uh, pyramidal prism. Two pyramids stacked on top of each other. We have the uh, dodecahedron die, the uh, 12 sided die. Of course, a uh, regular old everyday classic six sided die. Just because I'm not playing Yahtzee doesn't mean these don't have use. Then we have a, let's see, 10 sided percentage die. Um, a D4, a D4, which I don't exactly know how it works because it has numbers on each of the corners. Much like the old uh, game uh, Tetrominoes, but uh, I imagine if I actually get into gaming, I'll find out soon enough. And last but not least, another uh, ten-sided die. This one not for percentages, just straight uh, zero to nine. And uh, yeah, that's the die set. Like I said, simple, simple set. Uh, Six dollars at the uh, local game store. Which, uh, like pretty much everything else in this city, is located not too far from city center. You know, it's one of the things I'm finding out about Salem is that pretty much everything's located close to city center. Yeah. As long as you can find your way to city center, you're pretty much going to be alright. I think I need to put the uh, more multi sided die down toward the bottom, the 
larger die down for the bottom and then the uh, smaller die for the top in order to get this close. Yeah, there we go. It's kind of like I wasn't going to get close. Yeah, it, it seems like everything uh, around here in Salem is pretty darn close to uh, around city center. So as long as you can get down there either by bus or by car, you know, <coughs> you can pretty much find anything. You know, shopping centers, uh, regular shops down there, uh, bike stores, which I probably will be frequenting at some point or another, although I could also probably get a bike just down the road a little ways at Walmart. Uh, you know, game shops, match, coffee shops, tons of pizza places. I can't escape pizza! It's everywhere I go, everywhere I go, my favorite food follows me. And granted, it's because pizza's become, you know, an American food rather than an Italian food. But even so, I find it funny that, you know, I travel all this way, and every single place that I've stopped at has had pizza. In fact, I even stopped and got pizza along the way, as you saw in my vlogs. <coughs> Sorry, I've still got coughing from uh, my allergy attack last week. Uh, I should probably get my cough syrup out of my car, actually. But, but yeah, you know, I'm. I'm went to the game shop down there, downtown on High Street, and uh, very help the person there at the counter was very helpful, helped me uh, kind of choose my guy, and I, you know, me being the sentimental type that I am, I picked the one that called out to me, so, there you go. Um, they also have books based on Pathfinder, the Pathfinder books there which is going to be useful when I have money again, which uh, won't be until next week. But uh, but I have more important things that I'll probably get then, like maybe invest in a bike, uh, maybe get a bus pass, monthly bus pass, so I don't have to rely on my car as much, especially because there are a lot of one-way streets around downtown Salem, so, you know might not be a bad idea to invest in something where I don't have to find parking spaces. So, yeah, that's going to be a, my, my top priority list when I get money again. Also, maybe trying to save some back where I can at least stay here another week uh, once I find out about how much that will be anyway. Um, But yeah, I'm, I've been having a lot of fun exploring around here, and I apologize for not bringing my camera to, you know, take video and be able to edit things up and uh, upload them for you. I'm going to try to do that, um, probably starting uh, Sunday, because it's kind of the one-week anniversary of my entry to Salem. So, uh, yeah, I'll probably take my camera with me, go to places like Riverfront Park, walk around downtown, and uh, you know, kind of, kind of try to show you the city through my eyes. Uh, I realize some of you on my Facebook page are from this area and are familiar with the area, but maybe, maybe it would kind of behoove you a little bit to uh, see the city with fresh eyes, maybe instead of you know. Looking at some of the things I'll be sure to say, oh, been there, seen that, been there, seen that, been there, seen that. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm compiling, uh, the more places I go and the more places I explore to, uh, I'm actually ending up compiling a, places of, uh, a list of places that I will frequent or go to uh, regularly within the next month. Of course, I'm still going to be looking for a job. I don't know if I'll find one uh, within a month. I would certainly like to, but, uh, you know, 
I, I actually uh, found a place that uh, kind of specializes in helping out people who are unemployed. So uh, I'll, if, if worse, worse comes to worse within the next couple of weeks, I might frequent there. Uh, there is actually hiring going on right here at the uh, hotel where I'm staying. I uh, might see what they've got available there. Because, uh, you know, as time goes on, I'm going to get less and less big. Excuse me. Yeah, as time goes on, I'm going to get less and less picky about where I am willing to apply. So, you know, we'll see how that goes. Uh, I, like I said, I've really been enjoying exploring this place, and uh, it's helped me get familiar with the area and find out things like how pretty much damn near everything and thing that I would ever want to frequent is either downtown or just like about a street over on Lancaster or down on Market Street. You know, pretty much everything in this city with the exception of like the parks and such and the schools and such is within a relatively short area and that's actually quite a boon to me because that means that I can either easily walk to places or it's just a relatively short drive and even in traffic it's not really that much of a hardship to you know say go downtown so um, actually I think I saw the cleaning person and I think today is actually the day that uh, there's supposed to be some cleaning going on for my room. So uh, I'm going to end, go ahead and end this vlog here. Um, as for what the rest of my plans are today, I have no idea. Um, obviously I'm going to get out of the room and uh, do something while it's being cleaned and while like towels and such are being, uh, being uh, switched out. I no idea what I'm going to do because my fundage is starting to uh, become limited and again I don't get paid again until Monday uh, so uh, I might actually uh, decide to walk down to Lancaster and explore there a little bit more since it is within walking distance um, actually yeah I think I, I will do that so uh, yeah that's the highlights of today um, Exploring more downtown, you know, getting my dice set, which <laughs> makes me happy on levels that most of you cannot comprehend, I assure you. So, uh, until next we meet, I am the Shadowbird. This has been Shadow Vlog. Later, y'all.